Everyone talks about hacking like it is some mysterious superpower. But what if I told you hackers follow a process? A step-by-step -step method to pull off a cyber attack. In this video, we'll walk through how pro hackers pull it off, from start to finish. Disclaimer. This video is for educational purposes only. It solely targets the cybersecurity community and explains how attacks unfold. It does not provide a step-by-step -step guide for performing attacks. Black hat hacking is highly discouraged and can result in serious legal consequences. Before you try anything, you need to set up your hacking environment. A basic computer or phone. A stable internet connection. A VPN or Tor for privacy and anonymity. A security-focused operating system like Kaylee Linux, which comes preloaded with a bundle of hacking tools. All right, now that you have your hacking environment ready, step one is reconnaissance. This is the research or information gathering stage, and it is where most work happens. You'll spend hours or even weeks social engineering and learning everything about the target. You'll collect data from social media, company websites, and public records, or even breach archives. Tools often used here include WAS, The Harvester, Shodan, Maltego, and Recon NG. Recon builds a blueprint of the target, and the better the blueprint, the smoother the rest of the attack. Step 2. Scanning and enumeration. After Recon, it's time to go hands-on. Using tools like Nmap, you'll scan for open ports, find active IP addresses, and running services. Enumeration goes deeper pulling vulnerabilities about users, operating systems, and configurations using tools like Nessus or Openverse. Think of this step like walking around a building, checking every door, every window, and every weak lock. This stage gets noisy if done wrong, so smart hackers move carefully to avoid detection. Step 3. Gaining access. Using the information from recon and scanning, it's time to launch actual exploits. This might mean exploiting a software vulnerability discovered, cracking a weak password, or slipping in malicious code through phishing. Getting access doesn't always mean full control at first. Sometimes you land a low-level account on a single vulnerable system. But once inside, that vulnerability can expand into full compromise. Step 4. Maintaining access. Do not stop at getting in. You want to stay in. Install backdoors, create hidden user accounts, or deploy malware that guarantees re-entry and access. This is persistence. It is like making a copy of the key before leaving. You will return any time, and the owners will not know. Step 5. Covering tracks. No attacker wants discovery too soon. Erase logs, hide files, and disguise tools as normal processes. Some pro-hackers use advanced rootkits that dig deep into the system and hide almost completely. The goal here is stealth. A silent intruder can live inside a system for months or years without notice. So that's how hacking really works. In a structured, methodical phases that attackers follow in real life, understanding these phases is the first step to learning how it's done. And trust me, the best hackers never stop learning as there's more to learn each day. If you want to rise to the top, start now. Happy hacking.